So I heard you said you wanted some distributive property practice, right? Well, that's what we're gonna do. Whenever I see a problem like this where I have an opportunity to do distributive property, a lot of times I'm gonna apply that to, uh, to get rid of this. Because remember, we have to use our inverse operations to solve an equation. Well, to use inverse operations though, we have to see what variable we're gonna be solving for. So here what I have is three times Q minus five equals two times Q plus five. And I notice I have two Qs which are my variable. So to get these, un to get these by themselves, first thing I need to do is I need to simplify the left and the right side. And the only way to simplify the left and right side is to complete distributive property. So I'm gonna multiply the three times Q, which is three Q, and then three times negative five, which is a negative, 15 equals 2 times q, which is 2q, and then 2 times 5, which is a positive 10. All right, so now I have a q on both sides. And remember, when using inverse operations, we only want to do that from one variable. Not multiple, but one variable. So I need a way to get my q's on the same side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decide to get my q's either on the left side or the right side. And usually when thinking about that, I don't really think left or right. I think of what is the smaller value of my variable or which one will give you produce a smaller variable. So I have 3q and 2q. Well, multiplying by 2 is going to be smaller than multiplying by 3. So I'm going to get rid of this q on the right side. And I get rid of it by subtracting 2q. Now remember, subtracting 2q, you have to do that on both sides to produce equivalent equations. And I also can only subtract the 2q from the 3q as those are like terms. So 3q minus 2q is just going to be 1q, or as we write, write q, minus 15 equals 10. As 2q minus 2q goes to 0, 0 plus 10 is 10. Now I have a one-step equation. I have q minus 15 equals 10. To undo subtracting 15, I'm going to add 15 on both sides by using an addition property of equality, and I get Q equals 25. Now, if I wanted to go and check my answer, I'm gonna keep this video short, but if you wanna go back and check your answer, you can take 25 and plug it back in for Q. And actually, you know, it's not that bad. Let's, I'll do it out loud. Um, we'll see if it works. So 25 minus five is 20. Three times 20 is 60 equals Let's put 25 in for Q. 25, times five, 25 plus 5 is 30 times 2 is equal to 60. So there you go. It actually works out that um, this solution, when Q is equal to 25, makes your equation true. There you go. Hope it helped. Thanks.